So I am a home gardener with two peach trees. Last July, I noticed some sap on one of my trees. The sap seems to only be coming from two or three spots and not the whole trunk. I'm wondering if this is normal or if it is caused by the peach borer or some other insect. How can I manage it for the upcoming season? I did read about the chemicals you mentioned, but am not sure about timing since I'm in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. Also, if it is insect damage, can my tree be saved or will it die? And thank you much. And this is Punnett from Chicago. Mm -hmm. So a pretty detailed question yeah. there. I appreciate that. So what do you think? So she's correct. How do you manage it? Well, she's correct. Yeah, I think yeah. it is the peach tree. Borer. I think it's the lesser peach tree borer. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And and timing. She's she's oh, good man. to want to know about the timing of the mm. sprays. And uh, there's a publication from Purdue University, okay. which is pretty close to her, mm -hmm. yeah. um, that does have a a guide for the Midwest. Okay. So. Um, if you might want to look at that, well, I guess we'll have that on our website too. Yeah, we can have that information there. Uh, sure. But yeah, and keep it healthy. Gosh, try to keep you it healthy. Keep it, yeah, keep it water for sure. You know, fertilizer you know may help as well. Uh, but time is going to be critical. Uh, gummosis is what we're seeing there. Mm -hmm. So anytime you have that sap that's mixed actually with frass, mm -hmm. right, and a little sawdust, yeah, yeah, that might be the lesser peach tree bore. Right, so you have to look at that. Um, I would target that though in July, in the summer, June, July. With an insecticide? With an insecticide, it's, and it's gonna be a preventative insecticide, so it's gonna be, so one that comes to mind is, uh, you know, permethrin, you know, mm -hmm. you can use, you have to read and follow the label on that. The publication may have the information as well. Carbaryl, you know, mm -hmm. is another one. Yeah. Uh, but again, so when the moth comes and lays the egg, the egg's gonna hatch and the larva's gonna try to get into that wood. That's why I would say July would be a good time for that because that's usually when the moth is, you know, on active. her yeah, flight, yeah. right, pretty active. Well, and yeah. then you're gonna, it's not just one time she's gonna spray. Ah. She's gonna have to keep yeah. spraying every like two weeks, whatever right. the label says for the insecticide she uses is how long that will last. Yeah. And of course, if it rains, all bets are off. You gotta oh, spray that's right. over, that's over good point. again. That's a good point, Joelle. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so do read and follow the label. But it is savable. It is savable. Yeah, keep it comfortable. It is savable. Uh, you should be fine. You should be fine. Tree, yeah, peace trees. I'm thinking about Mr. D now. Boy, they're tough, right? Yeah. They're tough. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have hundreds more. To subscribe, just click below.